Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Inzana, and I wanted to show you one of the ways that you can pick books from our library. This is our grab and go book order form. So this is an order form that you would use if you know you want some books and you kind of know what kind of books you want, but you don't know exact titles. You just know you want to go pick something. You want something from the library and you have kind of an idea of what you want. So this is a book order form where me, Mrs. Zanzana, and Ms. Rolf, our library assistant, will pick some books for you based on the things you ask for. So this is how you fill out the form. It's going to be online. It'll be on our um, research resources page. It'll be on our website. It'll be on our e-library. Your teachers will have it. So there's lots of places you can find this form. This is our book order form. You have to start off by typing in your first name and then your last name. See how it says this is required? I'm going to call this test because this is just for practice. And then you're going to pick your grade level. This helps me know maybe what kind of books you want because like what level of books you're interested in. And we need mom or dad or whoever is at home with you, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, big brother, big sister, whoever is going to help pick up your books. We need their email address typed in here. That way I can send them an email when your books are ready. You can also type in your email address, your school email. And if you check that, then you'll get an email there. Then you're gonna tell me how many books you want. Your choices are from one book, to five books. That's for everybody, no matter what grade you're in. So one to five. And then you can decide, would I like everybody books, nonfiction books, graphic novels? Remember, everybody books are picture books. Nonfiction books have true information and graphic novels are the ones that kind of look like um, comic books. If you're thinking, I don't want any of those, maybe I just want chapter books, you can click other and say, none of these, please. But you can pick more than one. So if I want everybody and nonfiction and graphic novels, I can click all three. And then I'm going to click next. Oh, I have to put some information in here. I'm just going to type some gibberish because it doesn't matter for me because I'm just showing you. And then I'm going to click next. Must be a valid email address. Okay. This is as long as I'm going to put her actual email in here. That's me. All right. If you ever want to send me an email, that's my address. Okay. Now here's the next page. You can pick what types of books you want. You want elephant, piggy, and pigeon, superheroes, Star Wars, princesses, cats. Ooh, I like cats. Ooh, space. I'm going to get a space book. Ooh, families, funny books, books about friends, books about dragons. Oh, I love cooking books. I'm going to pick one of those. Oh, fancy Nancy. I can get a Guinness book maybe or something like that. Horses, math, science, around the world. Fun. I can pick whatever I want. And then it says, do you want any chapter books? If I don't want a chapter book, I click no. And then I submit the form. If I do want a chapter book, I click yes, and I say next. If I want a chapter book, I can pick a genre. Do I like scary books, science fiction, fantasy, humor? I like humor, and I like realistic fiction. I like all of them. I also like historical fiction. Do I want any blue bonnet books? So third, fourth, and fifth graders, if you want a blue bonnet book, you can say, yes, I do. And then I'll look at these genres, and I'll help you pick something. And then this is the last question. It says, if you know your reading level, type it here. So if you know your level, like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, it's a letter. Or if you don't know a level, tell me a book you read that's just right for you. That makes it so I don't pick a book for you to read that's way too hard or a book that's way too easy. Um, and then when you're done, let's see. Uh, my reading level is an S, just like my first name. I'm going to say next. This is the last question. Do you want us to surprise you with a book? That means I get to pick something. It might not be something that you said you're interested in, but I'm going to pick something for you that I think is cool that you might like. If you want a surprise book, you can say yes or no. And when you're all done, you say submit. And after you do that, Ms. Rolf and I will start picking your books and we'll send an email to those email addresses when they're turned in. Now, you have to remember, boys and girls, I don't memorize everything you read. I can't even remember everything I've read. So it's possible that I'm going to give you a book you've already read. And if I do that, I'm sorry. I'm going to try not to but it's very possible. I also might give you a book and you might say, you know, this is a book about horses, but I don't really like this horse book. That's okay. You don't have to like everything, but we're going to pick you a bunch of stuff and hopefully we'll find something that you <laughs> enjoy. Oh, my dog is saying hi. And then you can come and pick those up at school. All right, friends, that is our grab and go book order.